So now we're going to talk a little bit about the specific words and phrases that we should use and that we shouldn't use. The ones that we are going to avoid are words that are from the historical model or the medical model of disability. They were once accepted um, as part of the medical model, but now they've become derogatory, uh, so we will avoid them, and I'll tell you what we use instead. So words to avoid are things like abnormal and subnormal. These are negative terms and they imply failure to reach perfection. Um, instead, just specify the disability if you need to. Uh, we avoid um, phrases and words like afflicted with, um, as most people with disabilities don't see themselves as afflicted. We do often see this in the media, um, but uh, that's something that uh, we don't need to use anymore. Um, instead, we just again specify the disability, the person has so and so. Um, we avoid words like uh, birth defect and also congenital defect and deformity. Instead we would say the person with a disability since birth. Uh, we would avoid categori categorizing um, communities of disabled people such as the blind and the visually impaired. Um, if you're referring to uh, an individual you would refer to them as a person who is blind or a person with a vision impairment. Uh, we would avoid using phrases like confined to a wheelchair and wheelchair bound. So the wheelchair provides mobility and not restriction. So instead we use uses a wheelchair or is a wheelchair user. Again, we see this in the media a lot um, and that's also an area that can be improved on um, is the language that the media uses to describe people with disabilities. Um, one that older generations may know quite well and was part of our society is cripple and crippled. Uh, these terms convey a negative image of a twisted and ugly body. Instead we would say has a physical or mobility impairment. Uh, we would um, avoid using the phrase deaf and dumb. Um, that is the, the uh, inability to hear and speak. Uh, does not imply an intellectual disability. So we would say someone who is hearing impaired um, or someone who doesn't use words to communicate. Uh, the lack of speech usually results um, from impaired hearing, but that's not always the case. We would avoid uh, terms as uh, defected and deformed. These are degrading terms. Uh, instead, we would specify the disability if we need to. Uh, we would avoid the term uh, the disabled, that is uh, grouping all disabled people together. Um, instead you could use people with a disability or the disability community. Another one that you may have heard um, quite recently would be epileptic. Uh, that is implying that the person is only known uh, by having epilepsy and uh, doesn't put the person first. Uh, instead you would just use person with epilepsy. Um, what people often refer to as fits, attacks or spells, they are old terminology and instead we use the word seizure. Uh, some people themselves who have epilepsy may be using this old terminology that's fine if they want to use it themselves, um, but us as people who work in disability, we, will, we can use the correct terms. Um, John earlier talked about the handicapped, um, so instead uh, we would refer to someone who has a disability. Um, so some mental health terms, instead of using uh, insane, lunatic, uh, maniac, mental patient, um, schizophrenic, um, and psychotic. Um, instead we would uh, say the person has a psych psychiatric disability or a specific condition. Uh, for, instance, for instance someone who has schizophrenia you would say a person with schizophrenia as opposed to schizophrenic which is, um, which is not putting the person first it's putting the disability first. Um, so other terms that uh, that used to be uh, in the uh, in the medical model would be uh, mentally retarded, uh, defective, 
feeble-minded imbecile um, they're all offensive or derogatory um, and instead you can say a person with an intellectual disability um, one that um, is quite old but some older people do use is um, refers to someone with Down syndrome uh, and that is Mongol um, and that's definitely not something that should be used these days um, and of course the correct term is someone with Down syndrome um, when you're talking with um, with people with cerebral palsy uh, a lot of people would have um, previously talked about someone who was spastic um, which is the um, talking about the uncontrolled spasms that people with cerebral palsy have um, instead you would say a person with cerebral palsy um, and earlier we did talk about someone who suffers from a sufferer or stricken with um, and that the majority of people with disabilities aren't suffering um, and you shouldn't just talk about people in general with disabilities as it suffers from um, from any kind um, of disability so it's just a person with a disability um, so in a conclusion most of those um, most of those terms you can just say person with a disability or um, the specific disability that they have uh, and remembering that it's about putting the person first and not the disability first.